Hey everyone, Dubly here, back for part 30 of our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. In the last part, we pretty much explored everything we could in the Shadow Curse lands before advancing um, the progress of the plot. Although, I don't know if going into the Last Light Inn is going to advance the main plot. Maybe it's just going to open a bunch of uh, side quests for us, but we'll have to see. Um, but other than that, yeah, there wasn't really too much to look at in the uh, surrounding areas. Just a bunch of like little, little events, I would say. Like meeting up with some Harpers and turning on the convoy, actually, that we first encountered who were allied with the absolute uh, we turned on them killed the spider elf thing and the harpers ran off with the moon lantern so we're gonna i i allied with them so that i can see what's going on here you there step forward and keep your hands off your weapons easy he's with me Come. Jahira. Well, that's not the most welcoming of gestures, I have to say. <laughs> you know, just this once, I wish people would simply say hello. Hello. Uh, could you at least explain to me why you're doing this? Oh. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Yo, she's pretty cool. <laughs> um, hmm. Beseech your patron to help you. Your request falls deep into the nameless reaches of your patron's home plane. It seems to be met with deafening silence. Yeah, it's not surprising. What's you doing? <gasps> He's the one who saved us. He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yeah. Really? Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. I pretty much trust him with my life. Aww. A soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? Trying to figure that out ourselves, lady. Oh man, Maul. I work in mysterious ways. Okay, uh, it's big. You know, we've we've shown this artifact to like everybody already, and so why not just show it to her? Uh, it's because of this artifact. Whoa. What in the hell is that thing? Trying to figure that out ourselves again. <laughs> um All right, let's 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 let her know. Why not? She seems cool. Tell Jahira everything you know. Congratulations. 
You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? I'm here on a holiday. <laughs> Uh, I just want a cure of par I just want a cure for the parasite in my head. Moonrise Towers is my only lead. Then our interests align. We must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the absolute. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Okay. Damon might be knocking around here, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Who? You know her? Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! <laughs> okay, so Jahira is from the previous games. I see. Also, man, seeing Karlak mark out over all these famous historical figures in this uh, setting is so, so nice. It's so cute. Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. Don't worry, man. I'll try my best not to murder Hobo my way through everything. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Uh, anything I could take off your hands at no cost to myself? Maybe? Nice. Cheeky. But, since you're asking. <laughs> hey. Nice. If it works, it works, right? Now let's get rid of this. If you're alright by Jahira, you're alright by me. What have you got? What is this? Shield of Devotion. You gain an additional level 1 spell slot. Okay. Well. Oh no. Not the ball. Uh, what else do we have here? Incandescent staff. Oh. Huh. Just a fireball for free. And it doesn't cost spell slots to cast. That's pretty sick. <gasps> what? Shield for free? Interesting. Only once per long rest, though. Uh, what else do we have here? Two up in fighting. Oh, this just gives two up in fighting. I see. Interesting, interesting. Protection from missiles. Um. Ooh. Oh, 
this is a strength version. Okay, okay. Add your dex to your armor class. Huh. Okay, this looks really good. Um, Cloak of Protection. Hmm. Let's get the cloak. Take care now. And who's got the lowest armor class out of all of us? These two have like similar amounts. Let's give the cloak to Gale. Why not? Wow, we really, really can't steal from her, can we? It's for a good cause. Well, that was an interesting autosave. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Perfectly hidden. Wow. Who is looking? See any movement out there? Too dark to tell. I bet they're close. Okay. Watching us. Wait, what? Hold on. Unseen. Perfect. Ay, ay, ay. This is nigh impossible. <laughs> Your is there a way to? Hmm. Man, she's got some stuff though. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. What is this? When you're making your first attack of the round, you can reduce the weapon's enchantment by one to increase your AC and saving throws by one. Oh wow, that's pretty cool actually. It's a plus two weapon as well. Huh. How much gold do I have? 10,000? Hmm. You know what? I'll just buy these. I'll just buy them. I'll just buy them. Why not? Um. That's for monks. I have bunny. Still don't know about this staff though. It's a cool staff. Man, that's a lot of gold. Okay. Take care now. All right, she's got 16 armor class from that. What if I gave her this instead? She's got 12 now. Dang. It's quite a reduction. Oh, a carrying capacity is doubled as well, though. Huh. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm.
Yeah. That is quite a bit of AC that she gains from it. Um, I'm going to have to grab the gloves that give her advantage, though. I wanted to do that. And I guess you can have this. It's certainly more useful for you than this shield. Let's see if he has five spells. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, huh, so, okay, that didn't seem to add, so you can only have a max of four spell one, level one spell slots, it seems. It's a bit disappointing. Um, that is a good effect, though. I think I'm going to keep it. I mean, I put money into it, so I might as well keep it, right? <laughs> and then... Yeah, this gives her a bunch of AC. But I need those gloves of power. Or whatever the thing is called. And we are broke. We're broke now. So over here. Seems like a good moment to talk. An honor to battle at your side. Jahira is right to trust in you. And oh, thanks. He was joking this morning. Jonas and me. Huh. Give her some time to speak. He was always joking. Said it was good for morale. That he just liked seeing people laugh. It was a good harbor. A good friend. Sounds like you were close. We were. Comrades in arms. Oh, we could have been something more one day, but too late now. <laughs> You'll get over it. Uh. I'm sure he knew. I'm sure he cared for you as well. I don't know. I never will. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone. It's quite all right. A tragic love inspired her. Okay, that's kind of cute. Thank you for helping us out there. Those shadows would have torn us to bits. No problem. Not a problem. Oh shoot, what if Damon had some cool stuff for us too? Shoot, now I don't have any gold. Oh, I should have thought about that. Down here. The trolls report more activity among the cultists, Mom. Preparing to march, I wager. A cellar. Take it. It also doubles as a jail. From the looks of it. Oh, I don't want no 
Bottles. Get out of here. Bottles. These people just leaving wine out on the floor. How could they? Always room for more. This is what some of my friends would think. <laughs> Personally, not a huge fan of wine myself. I think it's too dry. Or maybe not dry, but like the tannin, I think it's called, gets to me a bit too much. So... Oh gosh, Carlac. I, I, I just wanted to grab that bottle. And you ran right in front of it. Okay. Afraid I was gonna have to start digging everywhere I could. <laughs> Not a thing. Wow. Is this a fake barrel? Okay. <laughs> Wow. Alright. Oh. Can we actually go in here? Ooh, okay. But how? But how does one go inside? Oh boy. That's a lot of wine. <laughs> Evidence chest. I mean, if it's just out here, we might as well take it. Who's to say no? Who's here to stop us, really? Okay, seems like we can't get to that back area through this. Hmm. Hmm. Then how do we get there? Is there like a platform or is there like a hole we can jump down from then? Because these bars are not. Oh, there's a door. Okay. <laughs> There's just a door. There's a door. There's just it's just the door. There's just the door there. Of course. Last light's best bargains right here. I wonder if Maul's updated her stock as well. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the You need something? Ask Jahira. I'm on duty. Okay. Alright, what do we have on this side? Anyone grieving? Nobody grieving? Okay. I just want to be alone. 
Oh, oh, okay. I remember you, Bex. Or, I remember you. Bex, right? Where's your man? Gone? Cultists. It was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away. But my love... Martin Dahl, Rosha. How did you manage to get away? I've always been good at running. Unlike Tanis, I didn't realize one day our lives would depend on it. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Is there anything I can do to help? Not unless you can bring him back. Can you? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to find him and bring him back to you. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I thought she was one of those dead tieflings on the road, but I guess not. Um, but it does look like they were attacked. Let's get these rags out of here. Okay, we're back at the start. Hey, that's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. Party is it that I'm crashing? Rescue party. Not that you'll give a triple shot, Dan. But we were ambushed by their bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in, and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. I was there in the aftermath. I don't suppose Councillor Floric made it all the way here. Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Guess you need to be a god's damned counselor to get room and board around here. Damn, dude, calm down. Hmm. Oh, so Damon's in here. There he is. Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. Hey. No, still incapable. You said that twice now. I demand an explanation. Not for you to know. Ah, huh. uh, come on. Now you've piqued my curiosity. Bizarre that it... Okay. What happened to my friend's cantrip? Well, come 
close. Your mind. To well, what mine. is with the Dutch angle? What? Are you satisfied? Your mind, the unwanted visions. We are much alike. A kindred spirit. But I only wish to be an ox. Do you understand? Huh, you're trying to run from violent thoughts too, aren't you? My little secret. I'll trade you your secret for one of mine. I'm not a busybody. Is that a threat? That's up to you. Okay. Whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now. All I wanted was a bit of hay, a good brushing, and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Oh no. I suppose I asked for this. Oh, what in the... It's got 132 HP. Bro. Hey, Davin. I didn't realize you joined the fight. Um, what are you weak to? Nothing, it seems. All right. Well, just gonna throw out a fireball. Okay. You know, you know, you tried, you, you, you tried, Damon. I, I appreciate the effort. I don't think I'll ever look at a mox quite the same. Dude, no, don't just walk in the ass. Are you crazy? Karlak, I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured. The other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Let's, let's hear the good news. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Carlet to touch people exactly oh my god it's really happening it's been so long we've got the iron let's do this thing <laughs> I think you'll want to hear the bad news too yeah sure but first Fix me. Please. All right. Yeah, let's let's let Damon speak. This sounds important. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't 
don't enjoy saying this, Karlak, but there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow, and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus, for good, this thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Oh, that sucks. All right, let's give him the iron. Let's make this happen. Well, all right. This shouldn't take long. So she's got a ticking time bomb on her, just like uh, Gale did as well. I have two ticking time bombs in my party. Oh my goodness. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. <sighs> so did it... work? Only one way to find out. Pull her into a hug. Thank you. I can't believe it. Thank you, Dallon. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. What? I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but... At this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Huh. Am I supposed to have... Okay. <laughs> Jeez, that took a while. First things first. Karlak, you have your touch back. We ought to celebrate that. Doom and gloom. I have something far more exciting on my mind than this bloody tin box. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Okay. So, oh, man, seems like she has no choice. But to go down back to Avernus, which really sucks. Shapeshifter's boon, we can send that back to camp. Uh, whenever you deal fire damage, you gain arcane acuity, which grants you a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls and difficulty class. Huh. That's a...
Well, since Gale's cantrip is Firebolt, we may as well give this to him. There you go. Looks kind of funny as a wizard with two hand crossbows, but we'll deal. <laughs> this is the best day. The best day. So happy for you, Carlac. Honestly, like. <laughs> I'm so happy for me, too. Now I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. Anyone in mind? I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. Then again, maybe it was just an old eye. Carlac, that's uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about Damon said about your engine? Or what about what Damon said about your engine? We need to get you back to Avernus or it's going to blow. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Yeah, that's fair. I respect your decision. <sighs> Thanks, soldier. Your support means I've got one less thing to worry about. <laughs> that means a lot to me. You really are the best of the best. Of the best. <laughs> oh man, she's great. Carlac's great. Strange fellow, that one. You sure made a mess of him. <laughs> <laughs> you were making quite a ruckus over there. Hope everything's all right. Everything is all right. This is just a shape shifting slime. I thought it was you. Saving my skin again, I see. Never seen a shapeshifted ox before. But I'm glad you dealt with it before it dealt with us. I'm glad to see you're all right. The way here was anything but easy, eh? A makeshift harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. Interesting materials? What do you mean? I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons, but no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Okay. Um, sounds like you had an interesting time in the hells. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When Elturel was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me, I would say I enjoyed my time there. But it was certainly instructional. Okay. Uh, I found this metal in a place called Grimforge. What do you make of it? Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Wonder what I gave him. There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Lod Heldusk Armor. What did I lose from that? That 
to check Karlak, I think. Oh, it was another one of the Infernal Irons. Okay. Heavy armor. When you are hit by a foe within two meters, it takes one to four fire damage. Take one less piercing damage. Huh. That would be really, really nice if anyone here could wear it and I wasn't wearing the adamantium armor. <laughs> uh, does Shadowheart actually have heavy armor? She does. Interesting. But she already has this one as well. And Karlak doesn't want to wear heavy armor. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the adamantine armor on for now. This is really cool, though. Need anything? Uh, I found some hellish masks. Can you make anything out of these? Using something that's already fabricated is tough, but I can try. How many do you have? About three. Oh gosh, I hope I don't need these for anything else. Hmm. I thought I sniffed American scent somewhere. These must have been a pain to get a hold of. American masks are brittle, so what I make won't last as long as my usual pieces. This is actually kind of cool. There. Be careful who sees you using that. Might draw the wrong sort of eyes. Orthon explosive. Whoa. Interesting. Time to forget I have it and never use it. <laughs> Need anything? Uh, I think I found a material you can work with. What can you make of it? I wonder if this is for the slags, actually. It's perfect, really. Just a moment, I'll be able to work this one quickly. Helldusk Helmet. Okay. Um, bonus saving throws against spells. Huh. What does it look like? Well, that looks pretty cool. Um, I think I'll keep these with us for now. <laughs> Need anything? Do what you have. Sell this stuff. And what is this? Sort of life stealing. Okay. Light finesse short sword. Oh well. Chainmail plus two. Sword mastery. Proficiency with all sword types and plus one to attack rolls. Whoa, hold on. Just get haste. What? Uh, interesting.
Charge bound Warhammer. Oh, wow. Strength plus two up to twenty three. Whoa. That's pretty sick. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, we're grabbing this. And what else am I grabbing? Uh, these are all not too interesting, I think. Uh, this would be super cool to have, but... So this does... Um, 3 to 17 on its own. Yeah, oh man. This is also really cool. These are... This is super tempting. Let's grab the bow though. I'll be here if you need anything else. Free haste. Holy cow. Oh, we can just take these. Okay. I thought Maul was going to get mad, but... Guess not. What do you mean can't read this? Seriously? What do you got? Oh, it's Mattis. Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well... I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. <laughs> I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. <laughs> From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Ah! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Kid really looks up to you. That's nice to see. It is, isn't it? I hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Just, just talking about Mattis. Check it out. <laughs> We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Yours is the first happy face I've seen in a good while. I'm alive, ain't I? 
What's not to like? Ain't that the truth of it? <laughs> Got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. Huh. If it was worth any coin, do you think Maul would have given it to you? Let's see if this. Okay, it didn't disappear this time. Oh, nice, we passed. You know, Maul knows it'll be safer with me, and so do you. Alright. Not too hard. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought... <sighs> Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Best Interesting. Right okay. Yeah, let's see what you got, kid. Evasive shoes. Oh, it just gives you an armor class plus one. Holy cow, that's pretty good. A cloak of cunning broom. When the wearer disengages, they also create a foggy cloud within two media with two meter radius that lasts for a turn. Oh, okay, I can see fishing rod. Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Pleasure doing business with you. Those boots Don't seem really cool. Have a gander at the finest stock. Hello, His Majesty. Hiss. I say hiss. It's got your whiskers in a twist. Uh, my intentions are pure. I only wanted to admire you up close. Mm, I'll allow it. You seem like someone who knows what he's about. Heard anything interesting around here? Good of you to notice. <laughs> For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. <laughs> Quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? I slinked, of course. Uh, of course. Quietly admire the cat. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. What? What the? What are you? What is happening? Your move, more. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it. Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's square now, Chief? <laughs> Say, do you play Lance Ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Maul's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well. And she wants to win. Always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. It looks to me like his Siri could be dethroned. Huh. 
Aha. Why is Raphael, is he like scamming a child? How is he? <laughs> uh, of course I played. No better way to learn battle strategy than Lanceboard. It's fun too. Didn't ask for your life story. I asked if you could play. Damn. Alright. Chill, girl. Gail's right. Put pressure on him. Attack the piece in front of his Cyric. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for Callum Sham rolls? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? Don't make deals with devils, kid. What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. <laughs> the Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. There's plenty about me you have no idea about. Don't I? Indeed. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. What option Besides, would that be? I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. Just stay away from Maul, you hear? She won. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough about my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. You know, I've never been better. Splendid. And yet, I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night, thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking, is this my will or is it the worms? But you have no answer. And no way of knowing. The good thing is, though, there's only one little voice you really should listen to. Mine. No. See you soon. How about no? Oh, hey. Ah, you found your way. Good. What are you doing here? I thought I'd scout ahead. Check for any nasty surprises. Of which I found a great deal. And what did you find? Shades, death, harpers, flaming fist, and this, of course, and the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. There's a recipe I'm trying to replicate. Something that might help you. That is, if you're still going to help Wolverine and the others. Oh my... God. 
Oh no. <gasps> of course I am. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the brilliant retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wilbring. How did the Deep Gnomes get trapped in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well... With you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. All right. Uh, anything I can do to help? Unless you've got access to a 300-year-old Tempusian apothecarial almanac? No. Well. But that's for me to worry about. You, you do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Okay. So now what? We just wait. Hope the true soul comes through. Yes, we wait. If we're called, we join the fight against the true soul. Where we land the fight. Ooh, camp supplies. So are you saying we can just unlock this? Someone's been skimming our supplies. Is anyone keeping an eye on those children from Elton <laughs> It's not red, so I mean I guess, right? And these things are still interesting. Are you serious? Oh <gasps> potion of invisibility. Could have used this. How many do I have anyway? Oh, I had just the one. Oh man. Oh, I had two. Oh, dude. If I, if, oh, I could have stolen so much from that first merchant. May the moon maiden protect us. I delay my meeting with Morfred, only to find the entire masonry has been raided. Okay. Oh, hey, kids. It's this wrinkled note. Uh, map is ready. Go to my place. Head into the basement. Look for the tower. You should have the key. Ignore the chest. I mean it. Go straight on through and you'll find it. Wait. Look for the tower. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep that note. There's another bottle of Arabellan dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Dude. Kids are right. You need to lay off the liquor. Oh, it's you. Don't you get tired of telling people how to live their lives? Damn, bro. If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. It's got your tail all twisted up. Heard about the attack in the Shadowlands. I'm here to help. Oh, sod off. I'm only here because you helped me and my family. I was ready to cut and run back at the grove, but you had other ideas. 
Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero, and now they're gone. Sorry about that. <laughs> then it's my responsibility to bring them back. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. Dang. Alright, dude. Maybe not, Mom. Oh, hey. Good talk, kid. <laughs> Don't get drawn in by harpies next time. That's curious. Ooh, a silver cake stand. And an emerald ring. Time to sell those. Snowburst ring. Oh. That seems... Useful for something? Uh... Okay. Something fishy is going on here, huh? Over here. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Oh, it's the flaming fist people. Okay. We just wait. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers. Not yet. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. You know, oh. Gortash, a counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. This is an interesting option. Gortash, that name, it's sickeningly familiar. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Kethric throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. 
You know, that sounds like a terrible idea, putting your stock into someone who has built an army of robots. <laughs> so Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. We'll make him answer for what he did to you as soon as we get to the city. Oh, the city. Baldur's Gate. Home. I can almost taste it, you know. Not even Gortash can spoil that. Okay. Does she have anything to say about this guy over there? The journey back to Baldur's Gate won't be easier, but your task here is harder still. Timora be with you. Okay. Last Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. Uh, that's right, but I've heard this bedridden fellow might be able to help. I'm not as hopeful as Floric. For my money, we're better off strategizing without him. Okay. <laughs> sure. What's going on? Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. You, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. Daniel. Huh. Um. Let's see. That name he mentioned. Daniel. Who is that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. That song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met R anyway. Seems to be all he remembers. Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. Some parchment now. Looks official. Hmm. Signy Art Collag. Uh, to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs, headed by Catherick Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Take lodging in the Last Light Inn and begin investigation in the local House of Healing. Report indicate reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. The region's Thorm. The region's Thorn family are long-standing devotees of Selune. Rumors indicate a Sharn enclave might be gaining momentum. Okay. Wonder what he found. House of Healing, huh? A friendly face come out the shadows for once. Good talk. <laughs> shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout, 
Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap, only for me to land them in this one. Huh. I don't see Zevlor. Yeah, that's right. Don't tell me he's missing as well. Aye, and more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender, but they were toying with us, making examples, and we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others. Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Um. Yeah, what are you doing out here to begin with? You're bound for Baldur's Gate. This army of the Absolute is growing and flowing towards Moonrise. There's worse than goblins on the roads now. I thought we might pass unnoticed along the fringes of this place. Escape the owlbear by hiding in its shadow, so to speak. You can see exactly how well that went. Don't lose hope. The others might still be alive. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Interesting. Okay. I think we talked to pretty much everyone we could on the bottom floor. Apart from Jahira. So, let's do that. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God. To your very good health. Uh, you'll have to pardon my friend Karlak. She's very excited to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it's an honor, milady. <laughs> I will gladly drink to your health as well, Karlak. To your very good health. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? trying to change me to win me over but i'm resisting its temptations you want to deny the parasite has any sort of hold on you but somehow you can't jahira spots your confusion and her eyes narrow it's the wine i added a herb to your cup that betrays your life okay well look around you good men good women Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? You can trust me. Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. 
quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. I think she's talking about Catherick Thorm. Uh, <laughs> who, who was, is he? General Catherick Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Catherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me, and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Jeez, why does he look so smug? <laughs> Trying my best to be. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. You want me to make use of my infection, but I want to be cured of it. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel. A faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Okay. Um... All right, well, I think we should take a rest, at the very least, a long rest. We're almost kind of beat up. Hopefully this doesn't advance. Oh. Playtime's over. this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress. Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. This devil is so powerful. How did they manage to get captured? Will your playmates wasting precious time? Let's see about getting his priorities fixed. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the 
pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lean mule. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Zora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Huh. We'll rescue your asset on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Trust me. Will relaxes, and your connection fades. We'll rescue this asset if you release Will from his pact. his leash. Oh my gosh. Um We could always let the cult infect the asset. I bet they make a loyal thrall. Okay. Uh, please. Nice. Incredible. You actually think you hold the winning hand. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. You've heard of this provision, better known as the You First Clause. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. Huh. You know, the fact that she came to us in her, like, that form, and she, like, apparently she sounded super desperate, makes me think that she might be the one? God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets? What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? This is the last thing Will has to do for her, then he's free. Actually, no, if we don't help Mizora, or if we don't help, Mizora will turn with Will into a lim Lemur. Can you live with that? Look, Will's happiness is my happiness. I'd sooner see myself a Lemur than him. But it's a bad idea to play games with a devil. You never win. Not ever. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, asterion has got something to talk to us about. You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. Every step we walk trails blood. Killing is an instinct for us. I respect you for that. I would keep the murders in our own camp to a minimum. But otherwise, we're very much on the same page. Why, thank you. I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them, do you think? Hundreds? Thousands? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the world's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we wield. And 
how would we do that exactly? I mean, I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find that. Uh, murder some people and, um... Look, I'm not a details person, all right? But turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity before us. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and enjoy a little world domination on the side. <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't sound fun. Hysterian. I still want to get rid of the parasite. A pity. I thought you had more ambition than that. Still, we're not there yet. Maybe you'll see the light. Yet. Bro. Come on. <laughs> Uh, I never asked, are you Cazador's only spawn, or are, are there others like you? <laughs> Cazador, Syed Seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family, even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all. But did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. And now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. Huh. Man, okay, that sucks for those guys, actually. All right, Shadow Heart. <laughs> Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. So what does it all mean? Lady Sha wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Sha. A temple, perhaps. Okay, we'll be on the lookout. Why is Gail's shoes all red? pain of seeing your life's hourglass running empty grasping at any means of slowing the grains as they slip inexorably through your fingers Karlak's fate may be ordained but her actions are not she will make each breath count we can be sure of that true enough the more bullshit she pours the more of it I'm forced to swallow Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Huh. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to hunt devils. Doesn't this violate your contract? The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. Huh. I'm not going to... It's not going to happen. You mean too much to the Zork Coast. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming. Plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. So the cultists have taken your father to Moonrise Towers. Orcs confirmed it. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise.
Yeah, the up. Okay, so the Absolute's cult is headquartered there. What do you think they want with your father? They want violence. They want control. They want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravengard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin unless we put a stop to it. Can we trust Floric? I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked farther from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tear's heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Fathers at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. It's fair enough to Moonrise then. Can't let the Absolute take Grand Duke Ravengard. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. Okay, so we can talk to him about this as well. Interesting. Raphael is making a bid for Mole's loyalty. What do you make of it? A blushing apple begging to be plucked. He wants more than her loyalty. He wants her soul. Hmm. She'll make the right decision. You'll see. I think she will. If not, well, you've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Mole would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. Okay. Finally, last but not least. The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it, perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. There's a flaming fist at last light. Curse has left him insensible, but he's murdering or muttering about a boy called Thaniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Thaniel is no ordinary child. He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, then perhaps we can save him. Save everything. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Oh. Okay. Oh, we can't talk to him at all. All right. If death is soon to take Karlak, she should make every moment as rich as the last. Fight viciously, roar loudly, step boldly. She must make herself known. You know, that's not actually a great outlook to have. Oh. Right. Let's make a save here just in case. And I never thought taking a long rest would make me super paranoid, but here we are. <laughs> the voice of the absolute is strong Whoa. here and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. wasn't even a, it wasn't even a choice they needed my help not everyone would have helped it just doesn't stop we are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy wave after wave with hardly a breath between them i almost dare not rest 
Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. So you keep on saying, why should I believe you? I'm not going to argue with you, but pray you never find out. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me, its... its desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental, but we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. Interesting, okay. That was a unexpected get up from her. <laughs> I don't know if that was like a tactical, but <laughs> Anyway, eh, quite a bit happened here, didn't it? Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!